Trust it on this side because we want to be a system like that. Right, right. Get a nice crust, and then what we do is we move it over to the indirect heat, right. and we let it finish cooking. How do you like your steaks cooking? You know, I'm a medium well guy. Okay. So See, now people always complain about that, but I, that's just how I like it. So well, we don't want you to change that. That's my point. No, absolutely. Right. But yes. everybody says, how can you? It's too dry. No, you no. need all that blood. I guarantee, I guarantee you, you will have to be getting a medium well steak today. I know that's right. <laughs> okay. I, listen, I have complete confidence in you. All right, what, what do you need me to do? You want to cook something? Yeah. I don't okay. Know, I love it. I got my apron on. All right, here you go. <laughs> here you go, All right. All right. Let's put a little spice up on All here. All right. Let's get a little rub on here. Exactly. All right. How, how much rub do you want? Do we want it? You want to be pretty liberal. And I'll, I'll help you actually rub it in. <laughs> exactly. All right. How's that? All right. So that's pretty yes, good. Exactly. Then? Exactly. Now I'm just okay. going to take a little bit of oil here just to moisten it. Okay. Okay. So you put right. just a little just bit. Blue, Is man. that just like some uh, regular uh, vegetable oil? Yes. Yeah, just some oil. Now you're going to throw these on the grill right. on, this, on, the, on the spice side down, on the hot high heat. On this side, right? Exactly. Right. All right. Now, now, if you're a true chef like Bobby Flay, yeah. do you use your hands or do you, do you use your tongue? It's up to you. What, what Nobody's do you do, watching. No, no, I want to do what you do. <laughs> I use my hands. Okay. All right. Just flip it over here. Right on the, right, very hot. Exactly. That's what I'm talking about. You, you know, I feel like you've been here before. I know what I'm doing. Look at that. Come on, Mr. Uh, President. All right. Okay. So now, here's the, here's the key to this. Yeah. Okay? I was telling these guys before, there are two kinds of guys in the world. Yeah. Guys that can grill, and then guys that can make. Oh. And it's to every man, man in America. I'm telling you, okay. Now, what, 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 what happens is, guys that don't grill a lot, they come out here and they want to start flipping and turning and flipping and turning. No. You want to flip this one. One time. You want to let the grill do its job. Don't mess with the grill. Exactly. You have a beautiful piece of beef here. Right. Just let it, let, let, let it. it. We're gonna let it cook, and we get, get, let it get a nice crust okay. in here. So. Now the, uh, but you do take a peek. Don't you? <laughs> no, you don't see, take that, a peek. See, I knew you were gonna go there. That's no, you, when you, you start don't, you messing. Don't a, you don't take a little peek. No. So, yeah. so, so, how do you, how do you know? You start when seeing it's... the edges. You start to get a little charcoal on the outside, okay. right. and then it gives you the hint. It says, "All right, you can flip it." Gotcha. Okay. So we're gonna let that cook for a little while. So if you end up flipping twice, that means that you're, you you can't really grill. Go ahead. Let's not go that far. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. what, not, else, what else? We got, we got some on? corn here. Now here's I'm gonna give I'm gonna teach you a secret about corn. All right. Corn on the grill, it's fantastic, but sometimes it's very difficult because we don't want the corn to be uh, we want the corn to be nice and tender. We want to have a nice truck on there. Right. So what I do is I peel back the husks and the right. silks, and I blanch the corn first. So basically, this corn is just about cooked about three quarters of the way. So, so you have already I'm cheating. You, you boiled with a little bit. Exactly right. So that it's already cooked. That way, you don't have to keep it on as long exactly. without it burning on you the outside. You just want to get a nice char on the outside. Got you. Okay. Well, that's, so, that's a good tip. So we're just going to put and a what little What kind of little marinade is that? A little, little sauce there? Just oh, here? Oh, that, that was just some oil. Here. No, this is my barbecue no, sauce. No, it looks like you got some. Oh, that's the ba yeah, you, yeah, you, you can got paint some basil thing. Yeah, can you paint that? Some basil yeah, and fresh absolutely. garlic and some butter. Come on. All right. I don't feel like I'm giving you enough work to do. Man, I know what I'm doing. I know you. <laughs> See, I knew you just thought you were a good cook. I knew Absolutely. it. Absolutely. You know, you can't, you can't fool me. All right. OK. Although I got to say, the White House, uh, Chris does a pretty good job. So Yes, she does. We don't end up having to do too much work. <laughs> you have a wonderful staff in this White House. We don't end up having to do too much work. I think we can take those other steaks off the grill. That, these look good. Yeah. These look ready. OK. Nice and juicy, okay? And the reason, even, even though this steak will probably be close to medium well, it's still going to be nice and juicy. You know what the key is now? we got to let this mess. You don't want to eat it. Well, you know what happens? If we cut this, the juices are really hot on the inside. That's absolutely right. You always want to let it kind of sit there for a little bit. So the juices cool down. So when you cut it, the juices don't run out. You guys catch that? <laughs> don't cut it right away. Exactly. I agree with that. Sir, we're going to need to grab it. 
All right, everybody, give, give Bobby Flay a big round of applause. Thank you very much. All right. All right, guys, thanks.